Now, chances are that if you're writing an article or a short story or an essay, you need to know how many words you have. You might need more words to meet that 2,000 word requirement for your essay, or you might need to cut some words to reach that 50 word limit on your bio. You might even need to know how many characters you have. Microsoft Word 2007 can count all of that for you. Here's how. Word automatically tracks how many words are in my document. At any time, I can see the word count right down here. If I just want to find out about part of my document, I can select it, and Word will show me the number of words in the selection and the total count of words in my document. Now, what if I need to know how many characters are in my document or in a part of my document? For example, what if I have a character limit for a bio or for a title? I select the text that I want to count, and then I come down here where it was showing me the word count and I click that. And a dialog box opens up and it shows me how many characters with spaces, how many characters without spaces, and how many lines are in my document. Now let's get back to words. What if I need to insert the word count in my document? For example, maybe an editor wants to see it right up there. I'm going to put my word count in the header part of my document, so I'm going to double click in the header area, and then I'm going to select the different first page checkbox because I don't want to have my word count on every page in my document. Now I'll click the insert tab, I'll click quick parts, and click field. In the field dialog box, I scroll down to the num words field. I choose the formatting options that I want and I click OK. Now my word count is in my document. If I make changes to my document, I can update that field by selecting it, right clicking, and clicking update field. Now the word count updates to match the number of words that are in my document. It's easy to keep track of your word count. Now, mind your P's and Q's and keep writing.